Let's look at a couple examples of how to test uh, the significance of a correlation using Excel. So here we have the data for a class, and we've got questions like how much do they like Justin Bieber on a scale from one to five, uh, how much do they like the Kardashians, how much do they like Star Wars, their commute time to class in the evening, the sex with their male and female, their age, and their shoe size. Now let's test a couple of these relationships to see if the variables are related. The first one we're going to test is that there's a relationship between age and uh, Star Wars. So this will, let's call this hypothesis one, and we'll put it here, I'll bold it, I'll underline it. Uh, hypothesis one will be that uh, uh, age is correlated to uh, liking Star Wars. Now, I'm not going to make a prediction on whether older people or younger people like Star Wars more. I'm just saying, well, this is kind of an exploratory study, so let's just see if it's related. This is going to be a two-tailed hypothesis. Two-tailed hypothesis. So that doesn't give us as much power to detect a relationship, but we can detect a relationship in, in either direction. So to do this, we are going to use uh, Excel's data analysis tool that I have installed. And if you don't have it installed, be sure to watch the video on how to install it. It comes free with the, uh, um, the version. And we're going to go to uh, regression. And so I click OK, and ask what the two variables are. And so I think, now, it doesn't matter mathematically what you put. Um, it's more likely to have a model where your age will predict how much you like Star Wars rather than whether liking Star Wars will influence your age. Um, so we're going to put the, uh, um, the Y variable as age. No, the x variable. So y is what's being predicted. So let's uh, the the y variable um, will be uh, how much people like Star Wars. So highlight everything in the the table there, including the header, and the x range. The predictor of how much Star Wars will be age. I'll highlight those, and I select labels because that means the call, the data input has labels at the top row. And the output range, I'll click back into the output box here, and I will put that down, uh, I'll put that here, and press OK. And here's the output. Now they've got lots of decimals. Let's reduce the number of decimal places by going to Home, number section, it's like number, and that reduces everything to two decimal points. Make it big enough so that we can read everything. Okay, and let's see. So we have the, the data here, and we have a multiple, so, so how do we read this? This is the multiple R is the absolute value of R equals absolute value of R, which is 0.05, which is really small. And the, the sign of R is the sign of the coefficient. So it's 0.01, so that's, uh, that's um, that's what the information is there. So that's sine of R. And something that small doesn't sound very good. And the significance, this is the p-value. This is what we're uh, interested in. This is the, uh, oops, control I, p, control I, the value is 0.79. So this is, this really isn't uh, significant. So uh, the, uh, we can put in here, 
So there's no significant relationship in this sample uh, between liking Star Wars and age, which you could kind of guess. So we could say our conclusion is there is no significant relationship between age and liking Star Wars. And then we have uh, uh, control I for italics R, turn that off, space equals uh, 0.01, and then P, put that in italics, turn the italics off, equals 0.79. Uh, two tails. So no significant relationship there. There's a slight correlation. Oh wait, no, the 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 correlation was 0.05. This was the coefficient. We want to report the value of r. So I will go back here. Uh, r equals 0.05, and this just gives the sign. The coefficient gives the sign. Okay, so the first hypothesis is not uh, supported. How about the second hypothesis? Okay, so that was that was hypothesis one. Let me call that there. Now let's do hypothesis two. There's a relationship between gender and liking the Kardashians, specifically females like the Kardashians more than males. Okay, so let's try hypothesis two. Uh, gender, uh, how about there is a, now let's look at what we have, we've got um, for sex, we have males equal one, females equal two, so we're predicting that females like the Kardashians more than males, so we're going to say there's a positive correlation between gender, so that, um, and we specify that males equal one, females have the high value equal two, and liking the Kardashians. Okay, so that's going to be our, I'll bold that to make it consistent, our second hypothesis. So what we need to do is we need to do the regression with these two variables again. So I will go to data, data analysis, that regression. And now for the Y variable, um, I will choose the Kardashians. And for the X variable, I will choose gender. or sex, and we've got labels in the output range. I will I'll put that down here, that right there, and press OK. And let's round off these to two decimal points, home, number, general, number. And here we have, we've got an R of point uh, 24. The significance is 0.25. Now, is this a one-tailed or two-tailed test? So we we predicted a positive uh, correlation. So that's a one-tailed test. So this is two-tailed p-value. And the sign of the correlation is positive because the sign then of the coefficient is, so this is the sign of correlation. So the uh, um, one p one tailed p value is what we're interested in. One tailed P value equals now is this 0.25? Let's let's give that another decimal point. Highlight it, 
give it another decimal point, 0.254. So half of that equals 0.13 to two decimal points, and that's not significant. So even though this correlation was, was stronger, um, we still have a pretty small sample, uh, sample size. We've got what, n equals 25. So uh, um, a sample of 25 is pretty hard to get a psychological uh, correlation uh, uh, going. So that's, um, um, once again, it's not significant. We have to leave open the option that this is spurious and maybe uh, females don't like the Kardashians more. Even though we found some evidence, we did find a correlation, but it wasn't high enough to be significant given the, uh, the sample size that we had. So this is a way of testing significance using the regression tool um, within Excel to see if correlations are significant. And in both of these examples, the two were not significant.